Hi everybody, welcome back with another video by Kurchit and uh, in today's video we're going to talk about OpenAI APIs. Uh, so the last time when I made a video on this topic is quite uh, old now, quite an old now and it's a, it's a very outdated as well. So that's why a lot of things are not working as expected so that's why I thought uh, I should make a new video with all the updated content that we have right now. Okay, so since the last video uh, OpenAI, OpenAI has made a lot of changes into it. They have added a few new APIs and it's not pretty, pretty interesting to be honest. Uh, so we are going to see like how you can actually use these APIs in a Node.js environment and it's all more about like you know understanding the concept. If you will understand the concept once then you can use it anywhere you would feel like okay. So without further ado let, let's start this video and uh, okay uh so uh, the way we are going to approach this is uh, we will follow this official documentation provided by an ai and uh, we'll go through each of these apis it's not possible to cover all of these in just a single video so what i'm going to do like we're going to start with the chat completion ai api one of the most common used in OpenAI, and then in the maybe in the future videos uh, you will see like how you can you utilize and use uh, other apis as well okay and uh, it's uh, gonna be more of a tutorial video so that's why i'm not going to set up a project locally but uh, if you want you can do that as well it's a very simple just go into a terminal go into your terminal and type npm install hyphen y and i'm assuming if you are watching this video then you know how to like instantiate a node.js project that's very simple so uh, what i'm going to do like i'm going to uh, open a repository i'm going to use like a replit.com it's like an online ID sort of thing that you can use and get started with the project. So I'm going to instantiate a new project in a Node.js. I'm going to name it like a Open AI tutorial or something. Okay. And click on create repo. Okay. Uh, and uh, let me put this uh, in this next window. okay and the first thing that we need here is open ai package itself because without that you will not be able to make a call right. so npm install open ai and it will take some time and it will install this package for you also the same process will be in your local machine as well once you have set up your project and uh as so in meanwhile uh, what we can do like uh, we can create an open ai key if you don't know how to do that just go in your open ai account okay just like open ai.com i'm going to, yeah you can type also like open ai if you reference and inside this if you have logged in if you haven't logged in then you have to log in first but if you have logged in then you will see this thing or uh, kind of a dashboard here you will find out like uh, there's a section called api keys click here and create a new secret key i've already created that and i've stored it somewhere so make sure uh, once you have create once you create uh make sure to copy it and keep keep it secure somewhere or else uh it uh, else you will not will you will never be able to see that again the only way to retrieve an api key is by deleting it and creating a new one so that's something that you have to keep in your mind so let me just copy and paste my open ai key that i have created okay so now i've copied my open ai key and now we can get started with it mm, yeah so first thing that we have to do is like we have to import open ai from open ai okay and one of the thing uh, one of the good thing about this replit is like it also auto suggests thing so sooner you will see that it, it will suggest the entire code itself although i'll explain you like what it what uh, uh, line of code that that particular line of code does but yeah so once you've imported your open ai key now you have to create an instance out of it like uh, which you can do by uh, storing it in variable called open ai and here you will create a new instance of open ai class inside this you have to paste your api key that you have created from your dashboard okay so this is our open ai key 
uh, of course like i'm going to delete this after one, i'm going to delete this uh, api key once i finish this tutorial so that's why i'm exposing it uh, right now and once you've created this uh, now we will create a new function which we call which we will call function function chat gpt execute execute or something execute execute yeah uh, a sync function because uh, you know as you can see like it has suggested the entire thing uh, so let me just paste it okay the thing is like what we have done here is like uh, we have used this open ai instance that we have created and inside that uh, we have a chat method and inside the chat method uh, uh, there is a method called completions and inside the completions you can you will get a create function uh, which accepts a object as a parameter inside this object you can define a bunch of different field okay so the two of them are very, very important which is like a model and messages okay uh, in, inside a model you can define gpt 3.5 turbo like there are three uh, different as as of making this video there are three three different models uh, which is popular uh, under this section which is uh, the first one is like gpt 3.5 turbo the another one is gpt 4.5 turbo and then uh, there's one more which is a gpt 4 and all of these follow the, all of these follow the same format so regardless of which one you learn you can apply it some everywhere okay and the only difference is uh, in their perform performances okay so if you'll be using like a gpt4 which is the most powerful one and uh of, co of course it will cost you uh it will expensive as well as compared to using a gpt 3.5 turbo but what i think uh as long as you are not doing very uh highly logical thing by highly logical i mean something uh, that takes a reasoning kind of uh, question and i think you can use gpt 3.5 turbo as well uh, it is good enough for you to provide answer that you're looking for in most of the cases okay and inside uh, this messages section here you can see it is a array of objects and these objects there are three kind of objects that it accepts although the format of uh, all these objects objects are same but the only difference is in their role okay so the first thing uh, the first is uh, the role with the user the another one is a uh, role with the system and the third one is the role with assistant okay so okay so uh, if a role is equal to user then uh, this is uh, mostly used when a user is asking a question you have a query from a user you want to pass it as a prompt and you can send it to chat gpt to execute it okay and uh, another one is a system a system is basically used when you want to define uh, its uh, behavior to a certain level not a lot but a little bit uh, you know like hey uh, you are a helpful assistant and uh, think yourself as a teacher and respond accordingly and think yourself as a doctor and respond accordingly so sort of a, you can uh, give a character to it but just uh, like a very uh, small uh, so you can skip it if you don't, don't want to use it it's totally up to you but that's what it, it is used for and the last one is assistant assistant is uh, basically a response generated by open ai so whenever you will hit a request you will get a sort of a response uh, inside that response you will ex get uh, this object okay so it will basically be, in most of the case so it's basically a response from an open ai um, providing an answer of your query okay and you will get in you will get that in this format so uh, the one we will be using here is a user and here what we can do we can ask a question for example who is elon musk okay and uh, here we are console log logging it in our console uh, so inside the completions uh, we have a choices field uh, inside the choices we will take a first element out of it and uh, inside that there will be a message uh, section like message property uh, which and inside a message we are actually extracting the content that i said okay so let me just uh, print the message instead of content so that you get a better idea of what we are getting here
okay so now if i execute this so uh, chat gpt execute okay so now if i run node index.js okay so there is a there is an error uh, which we have to figure out so the, what what the status says uh, that uh, we are using an import model without defining that whether it's a module type or not so you have to define it first let me just do that here type should be a module so that it can understand uh, the import so that it can accept the both statement and all that mm, package adaptation okay so we forgot to add here like a comma And once you've done that, like now we can simply run node index.js and you will see. Okay. Yeah, so you will see that it has returned a response uh, with the rule assistant, as I said, like whenever you get a response from an open AI, it will be uh, it will be in a rule with assistant. And uh, there we have a content which we can use. Uh, where it says Elon Musk is a billionaire entrepreneur and an inventor best known as the CEO of Tesla closing and all that. The best part of this uh, structure, having this structure like the way uh, OpenAI has changed now, that uh, you can simply push this uh, response back to your messages section and it will keep the context of it, you know. For example, I can keep it, uh, let me just copy copy this one first okay i can copy this info this piece of information here like this new object that we uh got as a response from an open ai here and now after that next time when i will ask a question it will keep this within a context okay so if i ask like what is his age what is his age and one thing that you would note here is like we haven't mentioned uh, whether uh, we are asking whether we are talking about Elon Musk or not because we are maintaining a history of it in our messages section. So that's why it will respond accordingly. Wait a minute. Not this one. Basically, we are looking for this one. Node index dot JS. Okay, and here you can see that it has given uh, as of September 2021, Elon Musk is 50 years old. So this is a uh, right, this is a good way to keep track of uh, your history as well. Although it can only keep track of a uh, short-term history, but still, it's a nice way to do this. This is how you can actually use your uh, OpenAI API. Or like a chat completion the first api of an open ai ap open ai api uh, one more thing i would like to mention here is uh, that and there's a thing called temperature which, which you might will which you will be using sometimes temperature temp rature okay temperature so inside so this temperature accepts uh, accepts an integer from a zero to one you can define if it's a zero then the answers uh, will be very very pre predictive you know like every single time whenever you will generate an answer it more or less it will be same in most of the cases but uh, when you will keep one then you are giving it a permission to be as creative as it can so sometimes in that case what happens like a you might get you might get a wrong answer as well so use it uh, like if you think you have a need of it then you can use it or else you can escape it it's not that important it's all up to you so this is how you can actually use openai api within a node.js project in our next video you will see uh, how you can define a json format so they have added a new thing in their uh, documentation which is a json format parameter uh, which I'll explain you in the next video like how you can do that and why you should you why you should even use it. Okay. 
so for then uh thanks for watching this video i will see you in the next one Bye.